In general, learning anatomy, I think everyone would agree with me, it's very hard because it is meant to uh, be focused on your memory. So memorizing the structures, memorizing the locations. When I was a student, for me, it was very hard because it was very dry. Like just taking the anatomical book or looking into the models and just memorizing them. So as a kid, we had always broken things or disassociated things and try to put them together. And I think it's in our nature to go dig in and try to see what is it, what is the structure, how it is built on. During our class, students have two particular sections. They have hands-on experience and as well they have the VR experience. So with the hands-on, they do dissections, they have like sheep brain, human brain that they can have a look. And then the second part is going to the virtual reality environment. Neurology has been always really interesting to me. Um, like, it's, it's the brain. That's how, that's how we operate. So I didn't have much experience with VR before. Uh, I always thought it was interesting hearing about it in this class. Like, you know, I came into this class thinking it was just going to be like a normal lab. But then we learned, oh, it's going to be a VR lab and stuff like that. And it was just like, wow, this is different for sure. Technology is always improving. You know, there's always something new out there. It's been an interesting experience for sure. Uh, a lot of stuff I never thought how things work in the brain. It's just, just so interesting. We mostly have uh, students that aim to go to the medical schools or to go to the nursing programs and the medical field. So mostly we get those students. I get as well some students that are interested into the neuroscience. In the previous years when I was teaching this class where we didn't have VR environment, students were not really that much into digging into the structures and learning. In general, learning gets deeper and better when you are involving as many senses as you can you can go into VR and kind of see that with your own eyes. There's been some, you know, issues along the way, obviously. It's newer, newer tech. There has been some challenges just getting used to it and like learning the software, for example. Uh, we've had a few meetings with uh, the software company to be able to understand like what to do with it and stuff like that. Being able to see things with your your own eyes in the, the VR space, you feel like you're in this world where just you're just seeing a brain, and you get to kind of understand more and see in more in detail like what's going on and what's what. Being able to use VR to kind of see it up close and personal in a way uh, is has been a very interesting experience. It's been a challenging experience, but an interesting one. Say at least. It was possible to do what I was able to do only because we work as a team. So as a neuroscience field is very interdisciplinary and everyone has to come together to work to understand how brain works and functions. The same was at my class. It was nice that everyone was very motivated and very supportive. I think it, it worked only because the faculties were supportive. Whole university actually took part of making this class to happen. students getting more engaged because they dig into to, to structures. It's something new. They want to learn how to look into the brain. They get excited. It's like a game for them. Like if you get a new game, you just want to go and explore and dissect. Even those students that didn't really had any experience or they were afraid, they were thinking that they cannot do it. Actually, they tried and slowly they are now getting into that too.